so the Marxist missionary network is what you're talking about. And I think um, it still maybe, it still exists, but it, it exists mostly in a little clandestine way, you know. Uh, but having said that, uh, the communists are a strange bunch. Uh, they tend to rely on more radical forces, more powerful forces, more organized religions to partner with, uh, because um, with Indian uh, communists, there is this uh, there is this real obsession with this dismantling Hindus, and uh, whoever they feel is uh, has the potential to uh, support them on that, they tend to uh, create a nexus with them. So at the moment, uh, you know, they've created a nexus with uh, the Islamists, you know, and the Islamic organizations. They're relying on Islamic radicalization to take the Hindu community down. One of the reasons that the dynamic changed was during the issue that we spoke about earlier, which was love jihad, you know, because love jihad was a time when the communists took the church to task. And uh, this is when uh, things started, uh, you know, the whole nexus started changing. But uh, I still do believe that that kind of um, bond and that kind of nexus still exists. I don't think the Marxist missionary nexus has completely been uh, mm -hmm. nullified. It's still there. And uh, eventually you have to understand a lot of people uh, when we talk about when we talk about these organizations, when we talk about uh, the missionaries, when we talk about the Islamists, uh, mm -hmm. this may not be representative of what an average Christian feels, mm -hmm. but the leadership is so politically charged that uh, bonds here are made based on the political benefits and have absolutely no religious content or um, or social bonds that tie them together so these uh, these nexuses can keep changing as and when they need to be please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar